Hey, it's Steve. It is April 25th, 2017. Time is 7.43. It is 59 degrees Fahrenheit out. This is Geo Rant number 25. Um, I've been doing these for about five months. About five a month I get done. Um, this this Geo Rant is going to be part five of Geologic Time. But before I get into it, I just want to say, look, Dave, Dan, no hands. <laughs> We're all going to die. Sorry, it's uh, I get a lot of flack for that. I'm actually parked. <laughs> I'm in I'm in works parking lot right now. I just thought I would uh, do one because I'm gonna kind of need my hands for this one. Um, but this is part five of geologic time. In the first four, I talked about um, I tried to I, I talked about how I showed you geologic time scale, how we divide geologic time, and I talked about the history of the development of the uh, geologic time scale. But today. I'm going to tell, I'm going to try to put that into perspective, okay? Um, <clears throat> and I'm a numbers person, so I basically, uh, I, I did a chart here. I What I did was I took the age of the Earth at 4.54 billion years old. In geology, we abbreviate billions of years as GA. So you're going to see that on the chart. And I broke it down for one centimeter to equal one year. Okay, for geologic time span. Now, I'm going to show you the chart, and then I'm going to touch on the highlights of it. You can stop it and look uh, more carefully if you want to, but it's kind of lengthy. Um, I'm gonna, here, this is the chart. I'm trying not to cover anything with my fingers. This bottom part I am going to go into detail, though. Up here is the age of the Earth. Uh, at one centimeter equals one year. You would uh, the uh, age of the Earth would equal forty-five thousand four hundred kilometers. Um, these red, I'm going to get into. That is when uh, certain life milestones occurred. When certain things evolved, not when they dominated, when they evolved. This is the geologic division. Uh, as you can see in the Precambrian, I use the eons, and then we get down into the periods here because uh, the more recent geologic time is, uh, we have better records, and the ge you know we have more rocks preserved, so we can break it down into smaller increments. This is the time span in actual years. You'll see the GAs. Uh, this is time span that's the time span of that period or geologic unit in billions of years um, and over here is that equivalent of that duration in billions of years in kilometers okay and as you can see no geologic period equals only a few meters let alone centimeters they're all in kilometers um, and this is the percent column of the age of the earth of all the periods or groups like here I just grouped like the uh, like the uh, Paleozoic I just grouped into the percentage and then the Mesozoic and Cenozoic so okay so I'm going to touch on the highlights of that as I've said before the Precambrian is a huge amount of time it's enormous okay it's 88.1 percent the age uh, the total age of the earth now he's now Converting the kilometers, the age of the Earth, I got 45,400 kilometers. The circumference of the Earth is 40,008 kilometers. So the age of the Earth, would, if you turned it into one year because one centimeter, would go around the Earth one full time and then a, another 0.137 times. Okay, so it's it, it would go around more than once, okay? Okay. Um, so that that's it and the precambrian that first part that 88.1 percent that would go around the earth almost entirely one time so the precambrian is almost that entire first trip around the earth and that would actually be that would bring us to if we started anywhere it doesn't matter where went around the circumference of the equator and did the precambrian and came to when the Precambrian ended, that would be 99.9955% the circumference of the Earth at the equator. And the Precambrian is before we had complex, multicellular life form dominating before what we happened, what we call the Cambrian explosion, when life just diversified and every uh, major taxa and fauna 
uh, that we have currently uh, initially evolved. Um, that before that, it, it was all the Precambrian. Now we had life in the Precambrian, okay? Um, and um, the first life was single celled, and that's what it was for a huge amount of time. The first single celled life appeared at about you know, three billion, three and a half billion years ago, probably three and a half billion, which would have been 10,000 kilometers. So about one quarter of the way around the planet before life even got started, okay? Um, the first funguses um, appear in the Mesoproterozoic, um, it's all within the Precambrian. And the first multicellular life probably did as well. Uh, the first sea plants appeared in the Neoproterozoic towards the end of the Precambrian. And then we get into the Cambrian, which is the Paleozoic era, which is the Phanerozoic Eon, which we are still currently in. We are no longer in the Paleozoic era, though. Uh, the Phanerozoic is just everything came, uh, from the beginning of the Cambrian to modern times. Um, but to give uh, comparisons and distances, I just want to go over the bottom part of the chart. Uh, so I showed you those distances in kilometers, and I hope you could read them. But the distance from downtown Chicago to downtown Milwaukee is about 131 kilometers. From Chicago to Houghton, Michigan is about 585 kilometers. The distance from New York to Toronto uh, is about 552 kilometers. The distance from... Uh, Sydney, Australia to Brisbane, Australia is about 737 kilometers. The distance from London, England to Berlin, Germany is about 933 kilometers. The distance from Copenhagen, Denmark to Rome, Italy is about 1,542 kilometers. From uh, Chicago to San Francisco, California, 2,988 kilometers. And the distance from Vancouver to the capital of Belize is 4,725 kilometers. And as you can see, these periods here, these are all very long periods of time, but I just went over that bottom part there to give you some perspective um, in this context of the rest of the time. Uh, okay, so uh, as you can see here, the Cambrian period, the Paleozoic is when most cool things started to evolve. We had the first fish, the first plants on land evolved in the Ordovician, but they wouldn't become dominant until the Carboniferous. Uh, we, the first trees didn't even appear till the Silurian. Uh, Devonian, we had amphibians and, uh, oh, what does that say? Oh, and land insects, yes. Um, vertebrates, insects, all that stuff evolved, plants all initially evolved in the sea and later migrated the land. Um, and then during the Carboniferous, we got reptiles. And what's interesting here, the Mesozoic here, Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, the time of the dinosaurs. As you see, dinosaurs and mammals evolved about the same time, okay? And that's actually, mammals evolved a couple million years before the dinosaurs. Uh, which I always thought was kind of interesting because that just kind of shows you that mammals weren't superior to dinosaurs um, and birds during the Jurassic um, so how do we put this in perspective to like a human lifespan okay if you just saw all those geologic periods and I'm gonna get to the quaternary which is the one that we're in right now this one that's 26 kilometers if you if one centimeter equaled one year okay how does that get put into perspective okay well a human being lives about 79 years okay i pulled that from the internet that was the uh first thing that came up i believe it was wikipedia that said that um so that would mean you would be 79 that means the human lifespan would be 79 centimeters that's not even a meter okay um that's the stride of a six foot three man okay that's a step pace Okay, so we talk about geologic time and, and transferring it to kilometers. We're talking about kilometers, dozens or hundreds of kilometers. And the human lifespan wouldn't even take a second and a half to do. I, I mean, that's how insignificant and tiny we are. Okay, and people need to realize that our lifespans are not significant in the history of the planet. But anyway, 
<clears throat> okay, so other comparative things. I have my little cheat sheet here. It's not as neat and organized as the other one. So the first modern humans appear about 100,000 years ago, which would be about one kilometer on the ground, okay? Uh, I just, um, modern, modern humans, we bottlenecked. We almost had our own extinction 74,000 years ago, or three quarters of a kilometer, okay? So we barely had gotten along a quarter of a kilometer and we almost went extinct, okay? <clears throat> now, the ice ages, the quaternaries when the ice sheets have advanced, retreated, advanced, retreated several times, and we name those advances. Uh, we have pre-Illinoisan, Illinoisan, and Wisconsin. Uh, Illinois and Wisconsin actually refer to individual advances and retreats. Pre-Illinois do not because the record's a lot more complicated back then. If we go back far to that first one. But the Wisconsin, the most recent one, the ice sheets advanced about 35,000 years ago. Or 0.35 kilometers. So humans were around, obviously. We, had our, we, were, we are older than the most recent ice, age, uh, ice sheet advance. Okay. All right. But that ice age ended about 10,000 years ago. So a tenth of a kilometer. So you, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, you're looking at 100 meters. Okay. And within that time is when all of our history and all of our civilization has occurred. Okay. I picked the beginning of human civilization at about 6,500 years. I got... I, I went looking and I kept getting contradictory dates or some, you know, I mean, some people base it off the very first known civilization, but I mean, civilization did take a while. I, I figured 6,500 years is a good number, okay? That's 65 meters. That means everything humanity has accomplished, built, uh, designed, thought of, essentially, uh, that has survived to today is 65 meters. Remember, the age of the earth would wrap around over one time around the circumference of the planet at the equator. So you're talking 65 meters, you can walk that in no time, okay? Uh, the Industrial Revolution started at about seven, the year 1760, 2.57 meters from today. Dated that, that's how long ago it began. Um, so I just wanted to go over that with you and just show you how tiny our little concept, our civilization, our knowledge, everything we've learned is in those little distances that if you could put one centimeter to one year, I mean, if you were to do that on the ground, you could do that, you could lay it out on a football field, our entire civilization and all that. But as you start to get into geologic time, you can no longer do that. It starts coming to kilometers or dozens of kilometers to hundreds of kilometers. And it's just, it's just really... I just find it amazing how how well the universe gets along without us, okay? It really does, and life and everything gets along really well um, with the, you know, it got along great, you know, before we, you know, even appeared. I mean, we are part of nature, but it's just, it's just amazing how tiny we really are. But anyway, that's my rant for today, and I hope you learned something.